Hey, what is going on, RPG lovers? And welcome back to another episode of the Side Quest Sundays. That's right, guys, it's South Figaro Cave time. Okay, just in case. Uh oh. Preemptive Strike, Cornets, and Uruk. Also crossbow. We've only got one of those, so we'll leave that. Let's try a steal. Oh, remedy, big hype. We may actually have to stock up on those. Beautiful. Uh, don't kill it. Couldn't steal. Why? Okay. Digestive fluid. That could be poisonous. Okay, steal from that. Potion. 23. Yeah, we got enough of those. Oh, wait. Kill that thing. No point in taking damage for no reason. Excellent. Portion. What? Hold on. Why'd I get a potion and not remedy? Nothing to steal, what? Maybe it's a rare steal. Yeah, it's got about 100 HP, give or take. Recovery spring, big hype. What's up, little turtle? And, um, right, we're just gonna get a few battles here. If we can get... So let's just double check what Remedy does. It should cure every single status effect. Oh, no, okay. Petrify, Imp, Silence, Darkness, Sap, and Poison. That is still very OP. So let's get ten of those. Um, yeah, if we're just doing a quick mindless grind, then very easy to chat away. So, just in case anyone's new to this playthrough. Damn. Um, I'm pretty sure... Damn, what does that do? Oh, it's just higher attack. Okay. Okay, finally dead. Oh, it might die. Careful. Okay, we'll get Gromit to attack the other one. Right, Gromit attack. Nope. Steal. Excellent. Potion. Damn. I'm pretty sure it was the Uruk that gave us the remedy. Okay, steal from that. Oh, fuck. Don't kill it. No, it's gonna die. Shit. That's very bad. What's it saying? Yeah, so if you're new to this playthrough, I'm pretty sure this is as far as I got in the game the first time I played about a decade ago. Um, slight spoiler, I think we're at some point going to meet a fourth party member. But from what I remember, damn, so many enemies. Yeah, from what I remember, the end of the fight you have to do the new characters like special move or limit break whatever they call it in this game basically your ultra attack oh yo it puts people to sleep this ain't good and our mage is now asleep okay so we should probably kill them first oh didn't realize it's my turn Potion, damn. I was saying, yeah, and this was back on the SNES or SNES, whatever you want to call it. But, um. I don't know if I had the timing wrong or I just wasn't doing it quick enough. I was doing it at the wrong time, whatever was going on. But I could never beat that boss. So. Yeah, like I say, I think we're now back to that part. 
so we'll certainly see if we can do better. That's the main reason we're playing this pixel remaster version rather than the original. Okay, Fnurta, lucky we're next to a recovery spring. Steal from the bee, I guess. Yeah, that remedy must have been such a rare steal. Okay, we should definitely use magic for this fight in future. Or... Run. Fleeing is always an option. Right, we may just move on. We haven't got a single remedy since then. Kill them all. So yeah, guys, this episode, we're just going to push through this cave. And like I say, we're not getting any remedies. But if we're only six minutes in. Maybe it's a little early to be pulling the plug. Hmm. Okay, we've got to level up and a potion, so not the worst. Right, so let's just lock our progression in. Excellent. Right, that's the waffle. Let's just try and get through this cave. 325, so we'll do that. Oh, yeah. Back attack. Let's just get out of here. We can use the spring. Go on, lads. Gromit. Get out of there. I think it's Final Fantasy IX. When you try and flee in the traditional sense, you actually lose money for doing so. You'll always, like, conveniently drop... You know, like 36 quid or whatever. <sighs> yeah, screw the foppers. I want nothing to do with them. Trouble is, it's going to take a lot of hits just running away. I don't think we've picked up a single accessory yet. Or relic, they're calling it. Cool, so we're not sleep-proof. Not much we can do there. Ah, oh, excellent. Ether. Just what I want. Oops. Sort by... Yeah, perfect. Got three. Nice. Come on, man. So many battles. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to steal. Attack. And we get Fenerta to attack too. Okay, so they've got about 100 HP too. Right, Kreshtolf get to work on the other one. And Gromit is the stronger one. Perfect. All steals done. Fresh, go on. How strong are you? Decent little in between. Okay, a few more potions for the road. Nice. Oh, get out of there. That's fine. Gromit. Perfect. Oh, yo. Ridiculously helpful. Okay, now I'm thinking we should have gone up quickly. That's it. Oh, Gromit, why are you so slow? They actually attack harder than you'd like. Right, let's just poke our head in, but I think we should go back. Be rude not to. Mm. Oh no. Oh, perfect. Damn, that means this isn't where I thought we were. 
How much did I play? Right, we'll just sprint it. If we're fleeing anyway, it's not the end of the world. Hornet, perfect. Right, crash, get to it. Good lad. First try, steal. We'll save the MP just because we'll surely have to start healing soon. Excellent. All heals done. Should just kill it. Nice. Didn't get in before the Hornet attacked, sadly. Yo, plus 10 MP. That's huge. Okay. Really? Ah, nice. Okay. These guys are quite beefy from what I remember. Nice, so we just get Fnurta to attack that front one. And hopefully that's enough. <sighs> Juicy. Excellent, could not steal. So if Nurta attack him, even though he probably won't die. What does that do? Does it slow you down? Finish this, Nurta. Yo, huge XP. Oh, is that all this was? Bloody hell. Ether. Empty. Perfect. So, Gromit up there. And a Steel. And a Fnurta. Yo, Gromit only did 60. It's unfortunate. Okay, so, Gromit crashed off. Yo, the crit! My god. That's a crazy crit. That's bad. Oh, shit, that's gonna kill it. Ah, lucky. I don't know why we got a remedy that time. Excellent. Now, what we may as well do, just because we're here, is save a potion. That does do MP as well. Nice. And we can save on the other side of this cave. Uh, yeah, apologies guys, it's, it really is worth it for a remedy though. If we could ever get one again. Okay, get him, get him. Potion again. Finish it, Grom. Perfect. Yeah, that is doing like one or two damage. That digestive fluid definitely poisons. Pretty sure that's nothing to steal. Oh, couldn't steal. Let's chill then. Nice. Damn, maybe it's a remedy if we can't steal. Too late, he's dead. Okay. Go on, Crash. Get up there. Softly. Now full speed. Now top speed again. 
Ooh, beautiful. Okay, give me that safety save. Um, so we can go south. Let's do that. South Figaro. Yo, Chocobo Stable. Our shops carry weapons, armor, and relics. The utmost quality. How you doing, you lovable little bird of joy? 80 quid. Has that got more expensive? Figaro. By the other side. Damn, lucky we looked. Eye drops. Antidotes, yo. Uh, Beyond Mound Cults is the Sabre Mountains. Ah, maybe that's where we made it to. Is that just leaving? No, it's a completely different area. This ship isn't going anywhere. Um, okay. Short and sweet. Another awesome tune. Okay, we should really be looking in these shops when we can. A new tune? You look just like that student of Duncan's. The man at the counter's got a nasty look about him. I hear the Empire's been invading one town after another. I wonder how safe we are in South Figaro. Yo, new building? Potentially. Duncan's been training his boy Vargas along with his other students. He's always grumbling about how the kid never seems to be making any progress. Come on. Can you talk to this guy? No. Right, ignore us and maybe we'll just disappear. Back off, crashed off. That guy looks familiar. He comes and goes like the wind. Swearing allegiance to no one. Hidden behind his wintry gaze lies a face known to none who live. Shadow, yo. What should we do? I'm going to call you. Seven. Perfect. Actually. Much better. Ah. Yeah, that's seven, all right. He's an assassin. He'd kill his own best friend for the right price. Mate, seven's theme, I, I, I assume that's what this is, is awesome. This is way too badass to be just a regular in theme. Guess we better steer clear of him. Leave us. The dog eats strangers. Okay. Figaro Castle stood up to the Empire. Great, and we'll all be drawn into the war. 80 quid. Why is everything 80 quid? It's a little bit rough, I can't lie. We have got four grand, but hey, look after the pennies, right? Nice. You can gain all kinds of abilities by equipping relics. These shoes double my walking speed. Watch this. Okay. What, well, now the shop is unlocked? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double walking speed. Gauntlet lets you hold the weapon of both hands to increase damage. Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragon Boots can jump. 
two relics for each character. Cool. Oh, they're so expensive. Prevents poison, prevents darkness. Prevents petrify. Okay, so only if you're low on health it be blocked for them. Double walking speed. I'll be honest, I have no interest in that. I mean, you can hold a button to run, and walking faster just seems to get you in battles quicker. To be honest, it's tricky. Because, um... I don't know if you can have three or four members in your party. But, yeah, you potentially want four, if not three, of these. Just in case you were to come across a really nasty boss. Darkness isn't the worst, especially as we've got a mage in the party. So we'd only need two, if not three of them. Um, yep, yeah, that, that's ridiculously important too. But, um... Oh, that is rough. Let's look around a bit more. If we're lucky, we can find one of these in a box. And it'll save us quite a bit of money. Okay, thank you. Actually, we got anything to sell. Interesting. So, in fairness, I could do this off camera in between episodes, but it looks very easy to just steal while grinding, and then obviously you get money for battles, but you can just sell off all your potions as well. Trouble is, you might be walking out of this area at like level 20 or something ridiculous like that. Okay, just thinking out loud here, but accessories or relics are extremely important in RPGs. What kind of dummies would go and make the Empire mad? Well said, girl. I wonder if it will really come to war. Maybe I should return home now before it's too late. Oh, yo. Big hype. Damn, that's all that was for? Amazing. Okay, that's nothing. Looks very easy to miss that staircase. The city's eastern border, so attacking from there would... What, what do you think you're doing barging in here when I'm trying to write a letter? Oh, sorry, I may be the richest man in town, but even that doesn't keep me from being startled. He seems a bit suspicious. What's this? Oh, it's just a, a box. It's always a nasty draft in this room. Where is it coming from? I'm afraid I'll catch a cold. Interesting. Oh, yo. Very glad she said something. What is this? Uh oh. Oh, yo, hype. Hype a wrist. Immediately sounds like an accessory. Oh. Damn, strength plus 19 or whatever that is. Mad. Okay. All right, 39, 31, 37. Let's just give it to him. If he's our strongest dude, just keep it up. Hermes sandals. Does that make us fly? Oh my god, does it give you auto haste? That is insane. We'll give that to Fenerta then. Actually. Is 
So it makes sense to make your white mage have auto haste, but I'm actually going to give it to our thief. But for boss battles, we should definitely swap back. My auto haste at this stage of the game, that is crazy. Good find. Guys, if you're playing along, um, get that item. Do not miss that item. Haste is one of the most necessary spells in any RPG, I'd say. What's this, a save point? Yeah, go on then. Bit random. Bit random indeed. What is this? Five hundred quid. Very helpful. A thousand quid. An old clock. It's ticking. Why is that important? Empty. Yo, we're definitely buying these accessories. An old clock. It's not ticking. Is that important? There's no chance. Ah, okay. Just because I had needle in the name, I was thinking maybe you could use that as one of the clock hands or something. Nope, what are you doing? Pendants. Okay. So they both say five o'clock, but only one's ticking. Ah, oh, what about this clock? Uh, okay, we may be missing one more secret. Yo, seven grand, that's more like it. Sweet, mate. One... Wait, would you not see that from your bed? You must be freezing when you're in bed. Yeah, damn, all that was in one room. That's a crazy treasure trove. Clang, 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 clang. I am Magitek Armor. My dad's super important. So important people come here for dinner all the time. Even general li um, I mean generally. I forgot what I was going to say. Okay. Wallets. Is that it? Okay. Yo, no wonder they try and blend this staircase in. Very cheeky. Okay, these barrels look a bit sus as well. Did you see how cool Figaro Castle looked as it moved across the sand? No? Well, I suppose that would have been kind of hard, what with it being underground and all. The big house at the north end of town belongs to the richest family here. That's the place we were just in, I think. Town's defences are tight. Even with Magitek armour, the Imperials won't find it easy to get inside. My husband Duncan is a martial artist. He's famous even in Figaro to the north. He took his students to Mount Colts for meditation and training, so he probably won't be back for a while. Aha! Could it be Duncan I'm slightly remembering in that boss battle I mentioned earlier? Certainly fits the bill. Another save point? Eh, just in case. Okay. Nice, half hour. Let's keep looking around. Oh, is he just not going to move? Makes sense. 
Must be something we still have to do around here. My grandpa used to be a servant for the richest family in town. I don't like strangers. Bring me some cider. Maybe I'll talk to you. Uh, where is this? Let's make a note of that. Okay. South Figaro. Someone will only talk after giving them cider. No, not gem, them. Sweet. Oh, yeah, where are we? Potion, good. So many secrets. Whoa. Did we do this? I don't think we've done any of this. Ah, armor and stuff. Right, we've done this, haven't we? Hidden staircase? Yes. What? Where'd that come from? What does it do? Kills Imp. Okay, good to know. Okay, let's just do it. If we get extra... Hmm. Now, we haven't fully looked around yet. I do just want to buy those relics. Armour and stuff we can do any time, really. No, just the bloody same house. Okay. Can we snake around? We certainly can. Uh-oh. Okay, makes sense. Right. Here we are. Welcome. Mithril knife, good. Mithril sword, good for everyone. Great sword, good for two. Confusion and poison, yo. Shit, man, that sounds broken as well. Poison can easily be broken in RPGs. Trouble is, I bet there's a chance to miss. Or you may just kill the enemy. Hmm. It's quite expensive as well. Let's leave that for now. Like I say, the next boss, I think even if we were to poison it, we'd still have to do that limit break gimmick. So we'll save, save those for now. So we can just buy two of these, yeah? Again, let's hold off just, just for now. Okay, buckler's good for him. Heavy shield is good for all. They all like that. Only she can wear that, and only he can wear that. Again, we may find it in a box. We've still got some looking around to do, I'd say. Weird. Head east and use sea mount colts. What? Teleport stone? What is that? Removes the party from a dungeon. Ah, like an escape rope. Gotcha. Well, that is useful.
we done this, haven't we? No. Welcome. Tent is good. Yeah, look, we can't even buy remedies yet. Again, I would normally buy a few just so we've got like 5, 10 in the pocket, but um, we've got a character who can steal this early in the game, which is nuts. Oh, you go in this door. Gotcha. No, it's a window. Shit. Maybe it's just decoration. Okay. Yeah, we did this. Um, okay, I think we may just have to push on. Yeah, it don't seem like we can get through to the east, so... So, one... One... Fourteen and nine, twelve and eight... Three... Oh, we have no money left for the bloody relics. That was the main gimmick. Okay, buckler for the heavy shield. Leather cap for plumed hat. Good, no negatives. Heavy shield. Cotton robe. Plumed hat. One hundred and sixty-three. Perfect. Heavy shield. Plumes and Kempo. Nice. At least we can sell this. Okay. So Buckler was the rubbish stuff, wasn't it? I think that's it for now. Right, bye. Ah, she's got a mithril knife. Mithril sword. Okay, so all we'll do is buy two of these and then we can give him a mithril sword. So, great sword. Oops. Perfect. Then sell. That's all of it, right? Yes. And then we should have enough left over for something. Four thou, not perfect. No prong house yet again, sadly. No, not there. Here we are. Now that's the inn, isn't it? Okay, I don't think we need that. We'll just get good at it. Yeah, we'll just get good and make sure our mage is good at healing. Okay. No. Let's see. Three. Two.
So we may only need one of these. So if we do a grind for 700 quid. Let's have a look. What time are we on? 40 minutes. Let's just see how much money we get from one fight. 13, 2 and 17. Perfect. Oh, nice. Right, steel. Oh, antidote. Perfect. Oops. Couldn't steal. Why not? Okay, typical. We just bought a thing that makes us immune to getting poisoned. And... Now we can freely steal antidotes. Okay. What is that? Unsealy. Buckler. That's a shield, isn't it? That's crazy if we can steal uh, armor or just equipment from regular enemies. Wow, this guy's strong, even with the new armor. A bit crazy. Miss? What? Ah, maybe he just got a crit. 400 quid? Yo. Yeah, let's do this grind now. Okay, how's that health? Had a spell that removes poison, right. Maybe I was too hasty in buying those rings, but... Hey, come boss time, if you can just equip an accessory, then that skips you a turn fussing about with items and this. Okay, cure. Nice. Try the forest. We've still got loads of places to look around. Oh my god. Okay, steal from this guy and then run, I think. Couldn't steal, why? I get a feeling he's going to hit very hard. All he drops is a potion. The size of this guy. Okay, let's get this. Oh, I forgot to check the buckler. Potion, good. We can kill him as well. Okay, steal from that. Don't forget, guys, we can sell all of this stuff we're stealing as well. So even though it does slow down battles, it's very helpful in the long run. Couldn't steal, that's fine. It'll be dead soon anyway. Oh, she's losing a lot of health, actually. Okay, perfect. Now we just uh, wipe the floor with these bozos. What we are, I was going to say we could do fire on everyone, but they'll all be dead soon in a couple of attacks. Miss. Go on, finish this. Beautiful. Why are they all doing the same attack they were before? Did we equip the stuff? Get him. Do not miss. Okay, it should be big money for this. That's the exact same amount. It's typical. Um... Perfect.
now. Let's have one more just in case. Belmodar. Try a fire. May speed things up a bit. Ninety nine, very good. Good stuff. Level up, very good. Okay. After all that, we didn't even bloody equip the um, typical. So everyone should have a star pendant. And yeah, that'll be fine. No problem having some spares. Is it this? No, it's just the item shop. That's it. Okay, so we want one of these. Perfect, two of those. If we can only have two part, uh, sorry, three party members maximum, then realistically our mage is never going to be attacking. So she can suffer from darkness, that's fine. Okay, we should really use the inn, but we haven't got enough money. So, we just save it here and move on, I guess. Can we peek at what's ahead? Not really, so let's leave it to the safety of the city. Right, guys, apologies. I guess the start and the end of this episode had a bit of a grind in it, but the start was to try and get OP on remedies which unfortunately didn't work and step B did we equip everything else yeah great sword great sword but yeah yeah nice guys so we are absolutely kitted out now Again, I wouldn't have thought anything in this early stage of the game is going to be causing the petrify status. But you've already seen we can be poisoned. So, yeah. Speaking of... 11. So we can already think about selling those at some point. Um, and that was a shield. What is this? Uh... How did we even get to that? Key description. Weird. No idea. Um... Who knows? That's probably worth like a hundred or anything. Uh, yeah, so, some very good food for thought here, but what are we up to? Yeah, so getting close to level 10, and... Oh, you can't free roam. It's fine. Oh, yo. Yeah. Perfect, we've got all chests there. Nash mines we knew about... Oh, yeah, we're actually missing a few things there, really. It's a bit brutal. Southwick Road, Chocobo Stable, and Nash itself. But yeah, we got chased out of there, so that's fine. Okay, yeah, good food for thought. Uh, I think we're very, very prepared for the next area. However, I'll probably do a couple more battles, just so we've got a little bit of cash, just in case. And we probably should hit the inn before we head out, just to fully be um, prepared. Oh, yo, Gromit's next level, 666. We like that. But, yeah, that'll do for today, guys. Giant episode as promised. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't where I thought we were. 
but from what everyone's hinting at, I think this Mount Colt is going to be the place I almost got to the end to, but then uh, just never went back to the game, sadly. So, in theory, next episode we'll get there, but who knows, it may be an episode of travelling, and in the next episode we're at the summit and take it on. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. <coughs> Alrighty guys, if you like the looks of any of the suggested videos flooding your screen at this very second, then check some of them out, and more importantly, let me know what you thought. Because false mountain intel feedback is best speed fact. Of course, if you've missed any of the non-auto um, haste episodes, then catch up. But the main thing, as always, guys, is I hope you're well. Thanks for watching, and see you again next Sunday for another side quest.